Make sure to subscribe to A Pillow on YouTube. Very cool content creator. People, what is the stupidest site on planet Earth? You're right, it's Twitter.com. Uh, so, recently on Twitter, some politics stuff has been going down because of uh, recent conflicts that have been occurring in the Middle East. And that has led a lot of people to have a bit of an anti-electoralist awakening on Twitter. So you have a lot of people there saying they will not be voting for Biden uh, because of his current support of the state of Israel. You have a lot of people saying that. Uh, and then you also have a lot of people on there, me included, saying, hey... Uh, what he's doing is horrible, but the Republicans would do the same thing, but like 10 times worse with the added uh, benefit to them, to to the Republicans of getting to genocide all of the trans people. So let's maybe vote Biden to stop that from happening, because not voting for him really isn't going to, like, like him being in office really isn't going to change anything compared to the Republican, uh, outside of the fact that the Republican wants you fucking dead. And also wants the Palestinians dead. But they want you dead too. So like, maybe let's keep keep what's going on here stable and then push the people who aren't trying to kill us out of power uh, and then get a new people in power who don't want to genocide the Palestinians. You know, maybe just a thought, but uh, Twitter doesn't work like that. And now you have a bunch of people on Twitter saying that Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is Hitler. So we, we see the tweet down here. Demanding people vote for a Hitler one year before the election. Vote for Hitler one a year before an election. In the midst of an obscene political failure people are trying to change. And is one of the most... Pro I'm sorry, I'm tired. Is one of the most politically useless things you could do at this moment. Not pragmatism. So I, I respond. Joe Biden is not Hitler. And then we have the uh, the Norman Rockwell portrait. People. J Joe Biden is not Hitler. Look, is Joe Biden good? No. Listen, I'm going to tell you this as someone who is going to be voting Biden next year. Yeah, look, I hate Joe Biden. I fucking hate Joe Biden. He is a milk he is a milk toast democrat who has spent his entire career trying to buddy up in this myth of fucking bipartisanship which is clearly dead he's still trying to do it to this day which is a fucking idiotic thing to do because it's really hard to do bipartisanship with a party that doesn't want you to fucking exist um but he's constantly trying to buddy up with other people and he spent his entire political career since pretty much the 70s trying to get his ass into the fucking white house joe biden is a piece of shit the only difference is Joe Biden doesn't want you fucking dead. Yeah? You're in the Republican Party? Is the Republican Party wins? If they... You watch me. You are a political rival to the Republican Party. You're dead. That's what they want. They want to overthrow American democracy. They want to punish people for having subversive points of view. They want to punish people for not being uh, proper Christians in their view. They want to set up a religious fascistic theocracy with Daddy Trump at the fucking top. They also don't like the Palestinians and still want to convince you the fucking genocide against them. So once again, only difference between the Republicans and the Democrats is that, yeah, both are still going to be doing uh, helping support that horrible genocide over in Israel. But at the same time, one of them is actively going to ramp it up. The other one is slowly start like you have rep like democratic representatives calling for ceasefire. These are not the same party. And to me personally, to me personally, this is not something I should have to say. Yeah, Joe Biden is not him. And I feel like part of the reason why this is something that's being talked about here is because uh, a lot of people have been saying this. Comparative to Trump and Biden, uh, it's almost an example where people will say, if there's ever an election between 99% Hitler and 100% Hitler, you vote. People say that if there's ever an election between 99% Hitler and 100% Hitler, 
You vote the 99 because you don't want the 100. Uh, it's, it's simple harm reduction, yeah? If those are quite literally your only two choices and you can't do anything else, you vote the 99 to reduce harm. And you have seen people, uh, notably someone who's not American, I completely misspelled his name. That is Shuan. That is not You've seen people have uh, stupid takes about this. Very, very, very stupid takes about this. So if this will load up, please. It's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. Uh, but it was along the lines of, and I'm just pulling this up for posterity. Um, he basically said, if there's ever an election between 99% Hitler and 100% uh, Hitler, you should overthrow your government. Baby, here it is. Here it is. If an election comes down to Hitler and 99% Hitler, you're morally obligated to overthrow your government. Baby, let me tell you what's going to happen if a bunch of people on the left try to overthrow the American government. We're going to be shot and murdered by the 100% Hitler supporters, because the 100% Hitler supporters in the United States of America are the ones who typically own the biggest fucking guns, which is a bit of a fucking issue in this nation. Um, bit of a fucking issue that the crazies are the ones with the monopolies on the fucking firearms. So let's not do that, actually. Yeah, not to mention the fact that uh, the American government... Hey, are you an American? Aren't those some nice highways you have? Did you know those highways were partially devised to help uh, easily transport military goods across the country in the event of a invasion or more than likely a revolt? Did you know that? Did you know that's part of the reason why it was created? to stop people I mean it's like for invasion yeah but also like military action in general part of the thing that was talked about was oh if the citizens get a little too rowdy and we need to send it we can bust them right the fuck in yeah um this nation is basically built on stopping people from revolting which is very funny very ironic considering the uh, inception of this nation but we got that shit pretty down packed since the civil war you know yeah there is nothing, nothing that is going to help from LARPing about overthrowing the U.S. government. It's not happening in our lifetimes, yeah? If it does happen in our lifetimes, it's not, a good, it's not gonna go very well for the fucking left-leaning folk, yeah? It's gonna be fucking massacres of people. So, yes, in this situation, it is quite literally something that it's 99 or 100, and I'm gonna tell you, I would take 99% of the time 100% of the time. To 99%. Because I would be doing 99% because it's harm reduction. But again, this isn't even a proper dichotomy. Because Biden isn't Hitler. Biden is a milquetoast liberal democrat. He's not a fascist. Yeah? The only, like, the closest he has gotten to that fascistic point is his support of Israel, which is across the board for members of both parties, even state representatives, that's across the board. But even then, you see people who vote Democrat, who are really important, and you also see people um, who are representatives in the House of Representatives on the Democratic Caucus openly coming out and calling for ceasefires. These parties are not the same. The people who are part of these parties are not the same. Democrats, you have plenty of Democrats actively calling for ceasefire, and it's more Democratic uh, representatives doing it day by day by day. It's increasing in number. Republican representatives want Palestinians to be fucking murdered. You can change a Democrat's mind, you can't change a Republican's mind. Republicans want you fucking dead. If you're queer, they want you dead. If you are a progressive, they want you dead. They want you dead, they want you buried, or they want you to be some fucking slave somewhere. To a corporation, to your husband, etc, etc, etc. They want to control you. They want their fascist, theocratic utopia. 
And you gotta fight against that. You gotta fight against that. Yeah? This is not even a true dichotomy. So if you ever see a take like this, point that out. You're being ridiculously hyperbolic, dangerously hyperbolic, and it doesn't even make sense because you aren't even using it as a comparison. You're just openly, brazenly calling him something that he isn't. You don't have to like the guy, but don't slander him that much, okay? Because it doesn't help anyone when it comes to actually trying to make action happen instead of tweeting on Twitter.com. Vote accordingly. With that being said, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. You can join the Discord links down below if you want to debate me, or you can just chill out in the community. You can follow me on Twitter, that's down below as well, or shoot me an email. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Gotta hit the stop recording button.